everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is a Gazelle tent. This is the T3X version. And in this episode, we are waterproof testing it. A storm system is coming in later tonight into tomorrow. That's going to test this tent. Is it waterproof? I don't know. We are about to find out though. When it comes to the products that I review, it's all based upon your feedback. Over the years, I've received quite a bit of feedback about this tent, quite a few questions. It is now time to address those questions for you all. Is this a tent that you can trust in the outdoors? As you all can see here, I got the Gazelle tent all set up and I'm very impressed with how easy that was. All you have to do basically is just lay it out and pop out the sides and then the top. Very, very simple. I didn't even need instructions. It just made sense. This is the T3X version. And interestingly enough, the instructions were for the T4 version. I'm assuming there was no difference and that's why it was included. To start off with this testing, we have to do a waterproof test. With that being said, there are a few things that I'm concerned about. For an example, the doors. There's one door on this side, there's another door on the other side. The doors feature storm flaps that go over the zipper. On this side, there's a one inch gap between those flaps where the zipper is exposed. Is it going to leak from that point? I don't know. On the other side of the tent, the two flaps come together and there's not much of a separation, which is interesting. Is that a quality control issue or did the company plan this out? Again, I do not know. Additionally, I do have concerns and worries about the windows or the vents, whatever you want to call them. These feature a fly that's on the inside of the tent, which some companies can get right, some companies can't. Oftentimes when it comes to poor quality control, tents will leak from that point. So my question is, are any of the vents, the windows, going to leak with this tent? Speaking of these vents, we have six of them on this tent. And hopefully everyone, the tent does not leak from those points or from the zippers at the doors. For this test night episode, everyone, I will be staying up here at the cabin. And I will be checking on this tent throughout the night into tomorrow morning. With the latest forecast, it calls for up to half an inch of rain, which is going to be an excellent test for this tent. My question for you all is this. Do you think it's going to leak? Based upon the excellent reputation of this company, I'm going to say no. The rain is supposed to come in later on tonight into tomorrow morning. I will see you all then. So folks, let it rain, let it rain. Let's see what happens together. Here it comes everyone, it's beginning to rain. Listen to that. It sounds like there might be hail in it.
I am absolutely soaked. I'm going to head back to the cabin to dry off. All right, my friends, it is moment of truth time. Let's go see if this tent has leaked. The rain has ceased. Now it's just windy. <laughs> what do you all think? Comment down below. Did this tent leak? Before we open up the tent and go inside to see if it leaked, let's go over what's taken place. Rain began falling around 5 a.m. It's now 9 a.m. There were times when the rain was coming down rather hard and there were times where it was windblown. All in all, this was an excellent test for this tent. Now everyone, let's see whether or not this tent has leaked. All right, everyone. Hopefully you all can see this. I am not seeing any leaking on the side that I was concerned about. <sighs> but there was some minor leaking at the door that I wasn't concerned about. Hopefully you all could see this, but there's a small puddle of water here. This is the side of the tent that was taking the brunt of this storm. Basically, the wind was blowing the rain against this side of the tent, and some rainwater was able to make it inside. It looks like the water came in from this zipper. All of this material here is wet. While the gazelle tent did face a storm this morning, Ultimately, it did leak, it did fail. Now, it could be argued that it was a rather strong event. It featured wind-blown rain, and the leaking was very minor. That's true. In the end, though, a failure is a failure. Is it that big of a deal, though? I would say no. Even though this tent did fail, in the end, I think this is a passable result. You have to consider that this was a strong event, a wind-blown rain event, and the amount of leaking inside of this tent was very minor. But those are my thoughts. What are yours? Comment down below. Overall, the results from this test have been confusing a little bit. This is where I expected it to leak, but it actually leaked on the other side. And that side has much better storm flaps than this one, so. Very interesting, folks. For this test night adventure, everyone, I am done. Make sure to sound off in the comment section. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about the gazelle tent? Before you go, everyone, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel. Until next time, be well, take care, strength and honor.